I don't believe it. Saiki's so talented and he's getting torn apart. <laughs> The featherweight champ Takeshi Sendo triumphs in his first defending fight with a crushing first round KO! <laughs> what a dominant flawless champ he's turned out to be! The second ranked challenger is destroyed in 67 seconds! Even though it's only his first defending fight, the Tiger of Naniwa already oozes style! It's hard not to start dreaming of his future on the world stage! KO time round one, one minute and seven seconds. Definitely a new record for shortest title match in Japanese featherweight history. Yeah, and on top of everything, you have to give the guy even more credit for setting the record against Saeki, of all people. Driving an opponent who's known as the Speed Star right into a corner and finishing him off in round one with a KO is hardly an average day's work. It's absolutely mind-blowing. I still believe that Ibo's the best puncher around, but I have to admit, it did take him four rounds to take down Saeki. Mm. It was no accident. Huh? <laughs> I was determined to take him down faster than Makano Uchi. I spotted you two up in the audience after the bell rang. But I got a little too fired up and actually set a new record. I really can't move on until I fight him again head to head. I have to win it without question or nobody will accept it. Even now I still can't say that I'm the champion. Huh? So please, let me have a rematch with him. Let's see who's the best boxer in the country. Huh. Well, it's easy to see that you're just as impatient as ever. However, I got to admit that that's one of the things I like about you. Really? So are you saying you're going to let me have my fight? Now, don't get too excited. Mm. It's true, Epo's probably going to re-challenge the title not too far down the line, but no matter who the reigning champion is, the kid's going to take home the belt. I'd advise you to get your funeral plot picked out. It's easy to talk tough. However... You'd better think twice about the Dempsey rule, because it won't work on me. Huh? Hey, it's Lappy! Uh, uh, hey, so that's uh, where you ran uh, off to. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> All the reporters are there waiting for you in the green room. Ah, uh, put a sock in it. I'm having a very important discussion here. Yeah, well, your trainer's hopping mad at you. Uh, is he really mad? You better hurry. Uh, all right. Good night, Mr. Kamagawa. Set up the match, okay? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get going. Move it! Hey, who's the old fart with the cane? Pipe down, hey. will ya? Hey, police! The boxer's hitting little children! Hey, keep it down! Damn, you kids are a royal pain! Hey, Chief, what do you suppose he meant when he said the Dempsey roll wouldn't work? Hmm... What a guy! Now let's recap the highlights of this amazing match! Saiki's not in bad shape at all. Sendo went in anyway. He's fighting tough as always. He's just barely dodging the jabs by slipping under them. It's like he knows their trajectory before they've even been thrown. The challenge is on the ropes, and the champ hasn't even tried to hit him yet! Has he been driven back by sheer intimidation? No, there's more to it than that. He's doing that to warn Sendo that he's about to strike. That can psych you out more than the actual assault. Incredible! Saiki made all the right feints, but Sendo blocked his escape route as if he knew where he was going all along. He isn't anticipating the moves from experience like Date did. He's got his very own animal-like inner sense. Whoa! Saiki's down! The referee stops the match! The match is over! He's strong. He's become such an overpowering threat since the time he fought me. Huh? Who could it be now? Chief! Uh, won't you please come in? No thanks. I'll stay here. How about that fight? Did you see it? Uh, sure did. Well, what'd you think about it? <sighs> I'm in shock. It was pretty obvious 
that Sendo thought he'd better finish off Saeki in the first round. He's gotten so much stronger. A lot stronger than he was when he had to fight me and Vorg. It's only been a year and a half since All Japan Rookie of the Year. He's improved at superhuman speed. And you could take all the credit for that. Huh? Inherent ability and daily training. The self-confidence that comes from wearing the belt. The empty bitterness he tasted when the Vork fight ultimately came down to points. They're more than enough to inspire a fighter's rapid growth. However, there's still only secondary ingredients. He did it all for the sake of defeating you. I can see it in his eyes. <sighs> He's in the process of becoming an absolute monster, and you're the one who made him that way. He's thinking of you. I'm going to set up a match. It's going to be you against the featherweight champion, Takeshi Sendo. This time you're going to go out and take the belt for sure. Mm-hmm. We're going to training camp. Yes, sir. But I'm warning you, it's going to make you cry from start to finish. The belt. Sir, you know I really want it. I mean, after all, it's every boxer's dream. But still, I don't care about the title. I want to fight him. We have a score to settle. When we fought, he left the ring unconscious. And I was on the verge of losing by KO as well. I can't help but wondering what would have happened if the match had continued. It's weird, but it kind of feels like the match never ended. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why Sendo's hung up on it too. Sorry to barge in so late, kid. Uh, Chief? Yeah? Um, the Dempsey roll. Hmm? I hate to say it, but I don't think it's gonna work on Sendo. Kid? Don't clutter your mind with unnecessary thoughts right now. So, the Chief already came to the same conclusion. <clears throat> hey, hurry up! Okay! Oh man, I'm so glad we're doing camp this year, and check out the weather. It's August, and it's smooth sailing. Yep. Sun and fun. The sweet mother ocean's calling us back, right? Not exactly. After all, we've still got a train. <clears throat> Look at the precious little beach things you've tucked away. Hey, it's rude to paw through people's stuff. Ooh, you're so high and mighty. No, why? You nitwits are barking up the wrong tree about something, aren't you? Oh, ya? no, sir. We're only making plans for after hours. We'll be training our butts off. Don't worry. That's not what I meant. Huh? huh? This year's destination is... the mountains. Oh. Aren't we there yet? This is getting ridiculous. I suppose your buddy's some old hermit. Shut up before I kill you. Huh? Did you see that sign that we just drove by? It said, look out for bears. We're getting deeper and deeper into hillbilly heaven. This must be a cruel joke. There can't be a lodge here. Knock off all the whining and get ready to get the hell out. We're here. Yoshio's Lodge. What was this guy smoking? You'd have to be nuts to build here. Who wants to live on the edge of a cliff like this? It looks like it's ready to collapse and topple over the edge any time now. I like living next door to danger. Uh -huh. Nakoda, good to see ya! Ken, you old dog, you're here! It's been ages! <laughs> <laughs> You sure haven't lost your touch. And you sure haven't either. I can't believe those are the moves of men over 70. I couldn't even see those punches, and I was looking. Fellas, this is Ginpachi Nakota. He owns this wonderful mountain lodge you see in back of us. It's named for Japan's first world champion, Yoshio Shirai. So tell me again, are these young men your students? That big one must be Takamura, right? Hey, you've heard about me out here in the boonies? Oh, sure. I order all kinds of boxing videos and sports papers down at the foot of the mountain. You're the reigning Japanese middleweight champ with three KOs. Yeah. Wow, I'm impressed. That title fight the other day was real close, wasn't it, Makonouchi? Mr. Nakoda, you know about me too? That's really terrific. Come on, you're famous. That means you two must be... Oh, he's, he's heard, heard about, about us too. Charlito Dignos and Rocky Lynn. We're, We're not those boxers. boxers. Okay, let's get down to training right now. Yes, yeah, right. what I'm talking about. Takamura, you stay behind. I need to talk to you for a little while about that match. All right. Shinoda, you take along and watch after the boys for me. Right, sir. The bears are out now, so be careful, fellas. Bears? 
Now that you mention it, I saw a sign. It's all right. We're three athletic guys. We can handle it, no sweat. If we run into one, we'll turn that sucker into a rug. Come on, let's go. Going down will go slowly so you don't hurt your knees, but afterwards we'll dash up the hill. Yo. Yes, sir. <laughs> Damn him, bully by us like that. I'm not Come gonna on. let him get ahead of me. Hey guys, watch it! Don't go overboard now! We've got energy to burn! Well, you got some good stuff there. You're a champ, all right. Go ahead and brace yourself, because my punches will go right through this bag and turn your guts to baby food. Let's go ahead and leave it at that for the day. I need you to look after all the trainees and make sure they're okay, Nakoda. Come to think of it, those guys should have been back by now. They were putting down mountain running, but something tells me now they're a little rundown for put-downs. <laughs> ah! Going downhill kicks your Let's ass! Let's skip the conversation! Man. Even I'm having trouble breathing! At this angle, my weight's coming down so hard on my feet, it's hard to support myself. But this is perfect for tuning the most important element of the Dempsey roll, getting a good feel for shifting your weight. I can see what Mr. Shinoda means. Huh? Is he trying to blow by us again? Makano Uchi, slow down! I told you to take it easy on the downhill! Behind you! Behind you! Huh? Well, you're lucky you ran into him on the way down. Bears are fast running uphill, but their front legs are short, so they're slow going down. Thank goodness. Well, I think that saved about ten years off my life. Man, I thought I was going to be Bear Chow. Ow. You guys are pathetic. You should have taken that bear out and gotten yourselves a reputation. No way! A real live bear is scary! But how are we going to be able to keep doing our road work? There's no need to worry. Huh? I have a method for keeping the bears away. That sounds great! I'll have everything ready tomorrow. Don't need no stinking contraptions. All I need is a crock pot. I'm gonna catch that thing, so get ready to cook bear stew. I'm no wimp like those pussies. <laughs> you sure sound confident. <laughs> What are you doing up so late? Chief! Let me guess, you can't sleep because you're worried about the Dempsey roll. Yeah. As we know, it can be extremely powerful just as long as your opponent's backing off. But then it's a bad bet if he's driving forward. And then when you factor in the number of punches Sendo throws and his overwhelming aggressiveness, there's no denying the trick will be rendered ineffective before it can even begin to work. In that case, what should I do? First, you need to understand the Dempsey Roll is not effective all by itself. Huh? When the originator of the technique, Jack Dempsey, would repeat a special move, he would always manage to force back his opponent without fail. Really? Without fail? First, the hard work to force back your opponent, then refining your technique, and finally the finishing blow. Only when those components are in place, will you actually come close to completing the total effect of the Dempsey Roll. Are you sure that's the only way? To completing the total effect? Yes. However, it'll be tremendously difficult to force a fighter like Sendo to back off. You need a lower body that won't be stopped by his power punch. The strength to make the most hits even if he charges at you. And that's what you'll acquire at this training camp. Yes, sir. I get it. Total body strength. That's right. I need to do more than just cook up techniques. I need to start with the power. The power to out hit Sendo so much that it forces him to back away. Take these with you today. Knock it off! You guys are making me look bad, so quit following me! Hey, come on, man! 
Don't go knocking the bells. At least the bears aren't running after us today. Hey, I'm gonna sprint up ahead. It looks like the old geezer's dreaming up a new training menu. I want to see what he's up to. The only reason he could talk so big is because he's only seen bears on TV. Most suckers are gigantic. Evil was attacked by a bear! What? Evil was attacked by a bear? Are you serious? He attacked you right out of the blue! Poor Evo, he's done for! He's probably being gobbled alive right this very second! Where'd you see the bear? We gotta rescue Makino Uchi! Well? Don't aim that gun at me, you old geezer! Oh, what are we gonna do? What's that? Something's coming! Thanks a lot, you guys. You just run off without warning and ditch me? I got lost on my way back. Ugh, it's a dog. <laughs> you lunkheads. Mm, sorry about that. Fortunately, he showed me the way back. <laughs> oh, good. I see you met Hachi, my dog. Hey, would you watch where you're pointing that freaking thing? All right, man. I'm going to bring out all the training gear each one of you needs. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Chop 30 of these. Split them up into quarters. Awesome. Looks like good exercise. I'll get right on it. Let's see. I guess I should split them lengthwise. Heave. Ah, some squats in the river. That's right. Standing in heavy current forces them to keep their balance the whole time. It really gets the job done. That's a dandy idea. <laughs> That's no good at all. Squats aren't effective unless you go all the way down. Huh? You don't squat and learn. You do this, 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 and this. Ah! He's been swept away. You could have drowned if Hachi hadn't jumped in after you. Mr. Nakoda, please, it's too dangerous. I'm very sorry. Uh, um. Okay, big guy. Five more reps and we're done for the day. Let's do it. All right. Uh. Uh. Hey, we're trying to train here. Do you mind? Uh, this is harder than it looks. Huh? Hachi? Ah, rats. He spotted us. Mr. Nakoda? No, I didn't want to bother you. Is something the matter, sir? You don't exactly look happy. I'm afraid I got in everyone's way. All I wanted to do was help out. Well, you're not in my way. I bet he sees so few people up here that he just wants to be part of the fun. Uh... Um, if it's okay, would you please teach me how to chop wood? I can't seem to split these right. What's that? If you wouldn't mind... <laughs> okay, just watch this. For starters, you need to stabilize your lower body. Got it? Got it. And then, you hold your chest out like this, and bring it down like so! Oh, it's amazing. It's cut absolutely straight. Back when I was boxing, I did it every day instead of training. Thanks to that, this is what I got. They say the back muscles are the source of power. I can't believe he's got this much muscle and he's over 70. You might think this exercise is primitive, but the effects are huge. I see. That's why the chief told me to do this. You're gonna need a lot of power to force back a fighter like Sento. But even if you do that, you'd only break even if you won. Are you talking about the punch drunk syndrome? Hmm. In the old days, there was a boxer who wouldn't back off no matter what. And no matter how many times he was knocked on his keister, he'd keep getting up. But he eventually had to retire because of all the brain damage he suffered. It took him five years to learn how to function normally again. Really? Actually, he never did fully recover. It was you? You always have to pay the price for those big knockdown, drag out, power punching battles. Uh, especially guys like you. Hmm. But still, I can't just abandon my fighting style because of that. It's no good unless I exchange punches head on. Even if I do it only against Sendo. Ah, well. You're definitely one of Gen's students. So I guess you're telling me you're resigned to the worst. Mm. If that's the case, remember this. There's more to a head-to-head -head exchange of punches than using one's fist. Huh? 
There are other ways you can punch than by simply punching. What? If you keep that basic principle in mind, you can actually double your punches. But is that really possible? That little trick of yours gave me countless years of grief. Chief! This bastard forced me to ringside so many times because of that. And I could do it again to you right now. Really? Kid, call the gang together when you're done. This is a rare teaching opportunity. Let's share it with everyone. A way to punch without punching? A way to double the number of punches? Sounds impossible. What could it be? Good, you're all here. That's right, so quit beating around the bush and tell us your secret. Yeah, really, if you know a sneaky way to double the number of punches in a fight, we want to know about it, too. Mm-hmm. All right, then, shut your trap and start listening. The secret is... Kid. Yes, sir? <laughs> the secret's doing that. Huh? You mean, just by fainting? That's right. Are you kidding? That's it? Every Yahoo out there faints. I mean, sure, it makes you look like you've thrown a punch even though you haven't. That's the start. The concept's not that easy. Do you know what the most effective faint is? Uh, let me think. Hmm. Nedwitz, that's Boxing 101. Don't you know anything? Killer Instinct. Uh, what was that, sir? If you go out and make your moves with killer intent, your opponent is always going to sense it, even if you're only going to make a feint. It'll look like the real thing to the poor sucker you're up against. Why don't you take a good look at those photos on the wall? Huh? Wow, they look awfully old. Who are those guys? <laughs> Me and Ken, of course. In our heyday. <gasps> but you have hair and muscles. That's impossible. So you were a boxer. I thought it was just dementia. You actually look tough. Shut up before I kill you. It was shortly after the war had ended. Neko and I were having one of our many face-offs. I stole the round with a counter, and I had him just where I wanted him. On the ropes. I knew victory was mine. He didn't have the energy to fight back. But then... Huh? I could have swore I saw that punch, but in reality, he never threw one. He took advantage of my confusion. And I went down. It was my first loss by KO. I thought I saw that punch, and it made me realize something. That as long as a feint is made with killer intent, it can be more effective than the real thing. More effective than the real thing? Sounds like a bunch of bull to me. Looking at those old coots now, I just can't picture it. <laughs> That's right, guys. Five matches I've fought with Gen. Three wins, two losses. Yeah. No. Leave it to you to get a swelled head the minute someone gives you a little praise. My record's three wins, two losses, you idiot. Yeah. Ah. What fairyland are you living in? Don't tell me I have to check your diapers, you senile old goat. Who are you calling senile, Methuselah? Yeah. I'm gonna settle this right here and now. Hey, you two, stop it. Well, actually, it was two wins, two losses, and one draw, but neither one of them ever accepted the draw. Come on, come on. Yes. <laughs> Not convinced yet? Huh? You don't quite believe you can learn to throw invisible punches just by using killer intent? That's right. I still have a hard time picturing it. All right. In that case, I'll show you how it's done. Why <laughs> you? I won't hit you for real, so don't worry. Right. And here goes the bell. Round one. Okay, now come at me. All right. He really does feel intimidating. What's the matter? Aren't you coming? All right, I'll come at you. Big guy's going in a full swing. Who's he kidding saying he's not going to hit him for real? I could get knocked out if one of those monster swings connects. A right, a left. Is it a right or a left? An upper. I can stop it. I thought it was an upper, but it was a straight! A left! A right? That's insane! What's coming next? What's going on? I can't tell what's happening! Run! Don't beat me to it! Come get me! Well, that about sums it up. That sums it up? 
Was he mixing in faints? I didn't notice them at all. Faints have two main advantages. One, they have pretty much the same effect as lashing out. Two, they make it easier to guesstimate where your lame-ass opponent will run. Huh? It makes them dodge because they think it's a real punch. And that means all you have to do is circle around in the direction they dodge to. But still... Step aside, Epo. I understand this simple theory. If it's possible to increase the number of punches this easily, we've got to take advantage. Okay. If you don't mind, I'll just test it out. Yo! <laughs> Well, you can't see my frog punch, can you? You're the freaking invisible man! Forget you ever saw that bad example. You see, it's completely ineffective without killer intent. Also, it's impossible to master killer intent in one short evening. You must maintain your focus and keep your five senses fully honed like an animal in the wild. An animal in the wild? Mr. Takamura definitely projects that vibe. Sendo does too. Hmm. Well, I won't be unreasonable and force you to learn that. That technique works quite well for a certain type of boxer. However, you never were the kind to fight on instinct. You're a power fighter who develops strength from dedicated, steady training. So we can just carry on with your training and you can develop that killer intent. But in order to do that, you gotta train and train until you can't see straight. Yes, sir. Where is everyone? Soaking in the hot tub. They're relaxing their exhausted muscles after a hard day of training. Man, that cheap sure is a gung-ho guy for his age. Oh, this feels better than sex. I'm still shocked about those photos. I never pictured the chief like that. Considering the day and age they were fighting in, maybe they were after the world title. After the war? That's intense. Those were tough times. You know, back then, some of these matches used to go 100 rounds. In fact, the legendary Piston Horiguchi holds the record for fighting four matches in a single day. That's probably why the Chief is so strict. He had to fight under the worst conditions back then. That makes sense. He may seem strict to us, but he just takes it for granted that this is the way that you train. Looking at all this sure makes me remember those days. It's true, and you know, my feelings still haven't changed. I still have those bitter feelings from our draw match. You ain't the only one, Ken. Tell you the truth, if I heard a bell sound at this very moment, I'd settle the damn thing right here. Wanna try? Wanna start something? That was a bath worth writing about. We're all done now. Hey, Chief, Mr. Nakoda, are you here? They're probably off somewhere playing with their pacemakers. <laughs> Neko, old man, we're ready to go. Huh? Huh? Hey, right, what the? Ah! Ah! I reacted to the bell by instinct. I have to give you credit, your right cross hasn't done at all. Well, time to catch some Z's. <laughs> it's something that happened decades ago. But neither the Chief nor Mr. Nakoda could accept the judgment. I totally get that. My match with Sendo isn't over either. It doesn't end just like that. It's not over. Okay, last 50. Once you're done, we're going running. <laughs> Good job, man. Catch your breath and we'll jump some rope. Damn it. I I can't keep standing Don't any more. Move more fluidly. <coughs> your finish is too weak. Yeah. <laughs> Quick drag in your feet. Yes, sir. Oh, wow, even Epo doesn't have any strength left. That's because he's hit the peak of muscle training fatigue. He's tearing his muscles down right now. It'll take about three months to see the results of all his hard exercise. That's the time he'll have his match with Sendo. How much strength anyone develops from this training is an individual matter. But at the very least, Epo can still try the Dempsey roll on Sendo with the power he has now. Is that all you got? It would be a joke to duke it out with Sendo with this kind of finish. <laughs> Just look at him react when the Chief mentions Sendo's name. Whoa! 
With the focus he's putting into this match, plus the tenacity to win that he learned at the Dante match, he looks like he's really developed that killer instinct. <laughs> Look at him go. Man, he's got a lot of power. Now give me another. Oh. Oh. That was weak stuff, kid. You don't have enough power to fight Sendo. Come back after you chop a little wood. Yes, sir. I'll jump some rope before I die. Have a train while I'm still up on my feet. <laughs> Good, let's go for another ten reps. <sighs> Wait a little longer, okay? I'm wiped off from the heat. I don't know what the big guy's mother fed him, but he's just not human. <laughs> That's right, I've become Grease Lightning in this training camp. <laughs> hey, fellas, check out these guns. No one poses a serious challenge to me. And on that note, I suggest that you go out there and throw together a nice little bear stew for our last night at camp. <laughs> and don't ask for much, do we? I guess it's true. Camp is ending. Everyone's leaving tomorrow. Ah! It's no use. There's no way I can chop it as well as Mr. Nakota does. Don't say that. You've made good huh? progress. No, this just isn't good enough. Progress is nice, but I need to produce results. <laughs> You're a lot more impatient than you look. It's not really impatience. I just feel rushed. It's like no matter what I do, it's impossible to master it. My match with Sendo's still a long way off, but I can't stop stressing over it. Mr. Nakota, you fought the Chief five times, didn't you? How does it feel to have a rematch? What did you learn from it? Hmm. Well, uh, let me think. In the fifth and final showdown, after two wins and two losses, we fought with our eyes locked together. For some strange reason, I thought I'd lose if I looked away. Really? You thought you needed to keep eye contact? Yep. There was no real reason for thinking that, but it made a big difference in the last round when my left right hook connected and I moved in for the kill. If I hadn't looked into his eyes at that time, I would have definitely taken his left cross and lost the fight. I get it. You can tell from the look in his eyes how desperate your opponent feels. <laughs> but I guess my crazy old stories aren't very helpful. No, sir, please don't say that. That was an incredibly important story. Well, now, I guess I'll get things ready for supper. Hachi! Yeah, boy! Hachi! Hachi's not here. The big guy took him out with him. He said he was going out for his final road work. What? At this hour? But he doesn't have a bear repelling bell. Good point. But he should be fine. After all, what are the chances he'd actually run into a bear? Actually, pretty good. Hey, you! Aren't you trained for this? You're supposed to be man's best friend! Damn it. I'm in no position to run. That leaves me with only one choice. I've got to fight it. Huh, it's huge! No way I can beat it with a wrestling move. I'll have to knock it senseless. Mm. Here it comes! Look at it move! What destructive power! The strength of that thing! It's playing me like a child. It keeps on attacking. I don't see any kind of opening. No time to think. Just do it like a championship bout. Uh -huh. You're wide open. Eat this. Ah! How'd you like that? That was my hardest right. Even my best shot doesn't work on it. I don't stand a snowball's chance in hell. I underestimated that beast. I was full of it to think I could defeat a bear. Ah. No, I'll be damned if I'm gonna cash out in a place like this. They're waiting for me. The peanut gallery at Korku and Hall is waiting. They're waiting for me, the great one. How's that? I beat you with a counterpunch. 
No dice? Maybe it did work. Is that your weak spot? I'll take a chance on it. Down, boy! I did it. I did it. I did it. Yeah! Yeah, baby! Did you see that? Ha <laughs> Huh? Wait a minute. Are you still breathing, big guy? Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Shut up, Hatchy. Shut up! Huh? So, what's the big deal? Come on, don't forget I had to fight for my life, too. I ain't gonna show no mercy to you. <laughs> Uh, let's go, Hachi. Come on, boy. I'm telling you, it's true. I KO'd a bear while I fought for dear life. Well, that's your side of the story, but come on. Yeah, you probably ran away from it for dear life. Old man, you're out of line. In fact, I got a witness. <laughs> you tell him, boy. You got a match coming up, and here you are covered in cuts. Just what are you going to do about it? I'll do the fight like this. After all, what's so bad about being cut and clawed and bleeding to death? You know, you sound like an idiot. Hey, I almost died, you sick old geezer. Oh, my God. I feel weak and sick. I ain't going to faint. Hey, you two, quit messing around. Dinner's ready. Come on, let him off easy. Because it's his last night of training camp, I fulfilled his request. You did what? I made bear stew. Oh, look at that. You won't find grub like this in Tokyo. My mouth is watering. That's real thoughtful of you, Neko. I need to eat red meat and lots of it to replenish the blood I lost. What a great meal. Thanks for making this. Thanks a lot. Mmm, it's really rich, isn't it? Sure has a unique odor. Gamey, but good. Who cares about that? And this meat is packed with nutrition because it's so fresh. The meat's fresh? Hey, are you saying you just got it today? When did you have a chance to go bag a bear? Well, actually, it was strange. I just happened upon it. I was climbing the mountain, and I saw this hurt bear. <laughs> I knew this was my chance. So I leapt out in front of it and bango! You brought it down in one shot? Nice work! Whoa, that's intense! Boy, I wish I could have seen that. Uh, did that bear, uh, have a nasty bruise right smack on his forehead? Who knows? Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. I wasn't really looking. Come on, think. Did you notice a couple of bear cubs nearby? Oh, gosh. I didn't see any little ones. Hmm. Whew. Well, now that you mention it, I did. <laughs> I do recall seeing two little bears run away. Why, you idiot? I spare its life and you wind up bagging it for dinner? What'll happen to those poor little cubs now? Hey, what's wrong? I only bagged the darn thing because you said you wanted to eat bear. Oh, my God. Look at you. Look at what you've become. If I had known this was going to happen, I would have never left you there by yourself. Looks like for once in his life he was telling the truth. He seriously defeated a bear with his own hands? What is so great about Bear Stu? Whoa, look, he's crying. I don't believe what I'm seeing. Who knew the big guy loved animals? <laughs> What's wrong? Isn't anybody hungry? Well, uh, I guess I should, you know. Then I'll eat it. The best way to honor its life is to eat it till it's gone. So eat and be thankful. Huh? Thank you for all the wonderful experiences. I had a great time. Oh, I had a great time, too. Take care of yourself. I will, sir. We'll come back again. Great. I'll be waiting. Another training camp come and gone. 
Man, that one was a ball buster. Yeah, but this one's going down as a legend for all its unforgettable weirdness. Mr. Nakota sure looked lonely when we were packing up this morning. The camp might have been hell for us, but for a lonely guy like him, we were probably welcome what? company. Look, it's Mr. Nakota! Hey, you guys, stay well! Take care of your health, and don't forget to floss! Thank you, sir! We'll do that! You take care, too! He probably hates being left behind. He sure is peppy to come running after us. He's still following us. It's amazing! I'll send you tickets to my next match, so please be sure to come and see us! We'll see you next time in Tokyo! Alone. Go home and rest now! Biscuit eater! So, you're feeling lonely too, huh, boy? It's been a long while since I've had such a lively time. I'm grateful to all of you! Don't go and lose now, because I hate losers! Just do your best! Takamura's defense fight in Makino Uchi's rematch for the title. It's becoming a lot harder for me to ignore Kamigawa Jim. Looks like there's more to it than that. Here's a cablegram. Huh? What's this? What? Hey boss, listen. Yeah? I gotta skip the meeting. Sorry. Have it without me. Why? What's going on? I gotta do an interview over at the Kamigawa Gym. I'll see you later. Oh, yeah? Kamigawa Gym. All right. Ooh. Feels like it's been a long time. Yeah, well, it's only been a week, you know? That's why I said like. All right, you're dismissed for today. You guys did a good job at camp, everyone. Now go home and get some rest, and we'll start training hard tomorrow. Especially Takamura and the kid. They got matches coming up. Hmm? Huh? Are you leaving now? That's a shame. I stopped in because I was told you'd be in today, Mr. Kamagawa. Oh, yeah, you're from Shinihan, Jim. Hey, isn't that guy... Actually, I need a favor from you. What is it? I was wondering if I could have a match between Shigeta and Makono Uchi. You want them to spar? Right now, is that it? I know it's a lot to ask at this moment, a huge favor, but he has this title match against Takeshi Sendo coming up at the end of the month, and I wanted him in with a hard hitter. I thought so. Shigeta's ranked fourth in Japanese featherweights. He's Sendo's next opponent. I thought he could gain some confidence, you know, if you let him spar with your fighter. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Gain some confidence by sparring with Ippo? That shouldn't be a problem, though I can't guarantee you he'll gain any confidence. Hey, kid! Sir? Suit up. Right! Your opponent is ready to fight. Go ahead and blast him from the get-go. Yes, sir. I intend to. I want to find out what kind of guy Sendo will be fighting. <laughs> no! <laughs> Come on, Ippo! What are you doing? Focus! You're getting hit non-stop! Come on! That's strange. I can't establish a rhythm. It's happening again. My timing and sense of distance are completely off. All right, Shigeta. Go on in and take it. Something strange. I know I'm tired, but I've never been this choppy before. Darn it. Whenever I try to go in, I'm stopped by a right jab. Oh, right jab. You got him flustered now. Come on, let him have it. Ah! This is irritating. Hey, Epo, just hit him. Ah, don't you guys get it yet? Mm -hmm. Huh? Take a good look, boys, at Shigeta's stance. If he's using a right jab, that means his right leg is in front. This guy's a southpaw. Huh? Hey! This guy's left-handed! His right and his left hand are mixed around. You see, it's a lot more difficult to fight a southpaw boxer. Is this Evo's first time against a left-handed boxer? The positioning of his legs, everything is different. Of course he'd be taken off guard without background knowledge. 
On the other hand, Southpaws are used to fighting righties, so they have it easy. Oh, come on, Epo, focus, hit him back! Big guy, can't you tell him how to position himself correctly? Hmm. You know, believe it or not, I've never fought a Southpaw. Actually, neither have I. Hey, I got to fight a Southpaw one time. No kidding? Well then get in there and advise him, huh? Right on! Hey, Epo, I want you to listen to me! What's wrong? Advise him already. Well, I lost in 30 seconds, so I don't remember it all that clearly. You idiot! Oh, what advice did you think you were gonna oh, give him? Thanks for taking the time to spar with me. Um, it was my pleasure, Shigeta. Nice workout, huh? Not really. Huh? What's that? I'm disappointed. The next time we fight, let's make it a real match when we're both at our best, okay? Uh, yeah, you bet. The next time will be for real, huh? He thinks he's beaten Sendo already. I'd say you gave him plenty of confidence. I'm sorry. I had no idea how difficult it would be fighting against a Southpaw. Right now you're at peak exhaustion. I knew that no matter who you sparred with, it wouldn't come out well. However, there is a possibility that your title match opponent could end up being Shigeta. So for the time being, there's no harm in finding out about him. <sighs> now go home and get some rest. My title match opponent could change. I never thought of that. But it wasn't difficult fighting Shigeta just because he's a southpaw. He's got considerable talent, and that sparring match didn't feel like he was going all out. I'm sure Sendo doesn't have the experience of fighting a left-handed boxer either. And they do say that boxing is unpredictable. Hi, Mom. I'm home. Welcome back. Hey, Ippo. Hey, thank you for covering for me, Umazawa. Mm -mm. Don't worry about it, Epo. Anytime, really. Hey, tell me, is this article true? Huh? What a strange-looking article. Come on, Epo. Is it true or not? Yeah, well, actually, it is a true story. Man, is this guy amazing or what? He's finally become a superhuman. That's funny. I was with Takamura until a moment ago, so no reporters could have gotten to him. <gasps> Just when you think you know someone, they turn around and do this. Ippo, the phone's for you. Okay, Mom, thank you. Who is it? I have no idea who he is, but he sure sounds excited. Hmm. Um, Makano Uchi speaking. It's me. <sighs> what? It's me? That's right, me. Um, oh, is this you, Sendo? Right, it's me, Sendo. Oh, hello, it's been a long time. Skip the hellos. Anyway, I saw the evening edition. Is it true? Evening edition? Um, do you mean about killing the bear? It's a useless tabloid rag that always prints nothing but lies, so I can't trust it. However, if this is true, it's big news, you know. Well, I didn't actually get to see it, but it is my understanding that one bear did end up dead. So it is true. What an incredible guy that Takamura is. So what did you want? That was it. I had to know about the bear if it was true or not. It was driving me nuts. Never mind the bear. What kind of boxing shape are you in? Well, I'm in great shape. If I ran into a bear right now, I wouldn't be afraid to take him on. Look, I really don't care about the bear. I can even fight you right now if you want. What do you say? You want to have a fight? That's how great a shape I'm in. Oh, never mind me. You've got an actual opponent coming up. Shigeta, he's ranked fourth. Oh, yeah, him. He doesn't interest me, so I forgot about him. Huh? Hey, listen, you've got to be really careful around Shigeta. He's really hard to fight. Ugh. Hard to fight? How interesting. Where'd you get that? Have you fought Shigeta before? Uh, yes. I didn't want to say anything because I don't want to sound like an informant. But I fought him for about three rounds before. Oh, <laughs> if you found him hard to fight, he has to be a southpaw. <laughs> Do you think I'd sit around doing nothing while you're out camping in the mountains? Well, of course I don't. I'm certain you're ready. After all, he is your opponent. I've got no plans. Huh? I told you, he doesn't interest me. I've only heard of him. I haven't formulated a plan of attack because it's not that important. All I'm concentrating on is defeating you at our next fight. What's that sound? I have no idea what's so great about the Shigeta character, but if you're that worried, I'll send you a ticket to my title match. You'll be able to see how much better I've gotten. Would you 
like that? Um, yeah, sure, send me a ticket. I'd appreciate that, thank you. He's gotten even better. What kind of training has he been doing? Wait, Makanouchi. Uh, yeah, Sendo, I'm here. Incidentally, which ticket do you want? Which one? The hundred dollar tickets for the red corner side are a real bargain. What? You mean it's not free? Oh, I wonder what's going on in there. Good afternoon. Oh! Hey, Ipo, would you spar with me? Yeah, we're fed up with this crap. What's up? Just look at him over there! The area behind me was full of trees and I had nowhere else to run. That's when the bear, standing on his hind legs like this, charged at me! Naturally, it freaked me out, but it was a do-or-die thing, you see. How did you take the bear down? Yeah, did you punch him out? Our counter to the brow hit the bear square, oh. and it fell with a big thud. <laughs> at the time, I was really rattled by the huge force of the punch. I discovered again just how powerful I was. Can you believe he's been doing a one-man show like that for an hour and a half? I'd be fed up, too. You've had enough, haven't you? Hey, yeah. we need to start training. Now get the hell out. No. No, sure, thanks. See ya. Uh, yeah. Are you leaving? I was just getting to the really good part. Arr. You crabby old party pooper. Quit your belly aching and start your training. Your fight opponent is not a bear. It's a human being who thinks with his head. He's studying your every move. Now get to work. All right, our... Huh? Oh, Fuji, didn't know you were here. You don't change a bit, do you, Takamura? That stingy old man is the one who doesn't change. Why in the world is he that fussy? It's only natural. Anybody would be nervous if there was talk of a world title in the offing. World title? Who's fighting? You're such a kidder. I'm talking about your fight. T takamura A world title fight? Yeah! You idiot, you just spilled it! Uh, oh no, were you keeping it a secret? Hey, Chief! Is this really true? When is it, huh? Well, Chief... Ah, damn it, you've already heard Fuji, I might as well tell you. It's not quite finalized, but people were testing the waters, wanting you to have a match with the second-ranked World Junior Middleweight as a preliminary bout to the world title. In World Middleweight, you're currently ranked 16th. Your opponent probably thinks you'll serve as a convenient setup for fine-tuning. But if you manage to knock him down, you'll be ranked second in the world, and... you'll definitely receive rights to challenge for the world title! That's awesome! It's happening, finally! Didn't I just say it's not final? <laughs> For now, discard all distractions and focus on the next match. You got it? <laughs> hey, I'm talking to you! I can hear ya! Loud and clear. I'm sorry, Chief. I had no idea the match was supposed to be a secret. Fine, don't worry. You know, he's better off knowing about the match. It's been a long time since we saw that much intensity and determination on his face. You get a whole different brand of enthusiasm when achieving your goal becomes a realistic possibility. <laughs> Once he's like that, he's tough. Too tough to handle. If it does get settled, it'll be Kamigawa Jim's first world title match. And just maybe... The birth of a world champion. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. I can't stand still. I've got to get a piece of his enthusiasm. Wow, it looks like he's really gotten into it. We'll continue to carry on at our own pace. Clear our own hurdles, one at a time, and stay focused. I see. Well, since this seems like as good a time as any, there's a woman from the office who wants to write boxing articles. I thought I'd introduce you. A woman? That's really unusual. Well, actually, she's so pushy, she tagged along without even asking. She's something else. If you don't want to introduce me, that's fine. I'll speak for myself. My name is Mari Imura. Pleased to meet you. Oh, hi. Oh. Hey, if she's that cute, I'd be willing to put up with a little cockiness. You sure? If you ever want an interview, don't hesitate. I always accommodate the beautiful women. Knock it off. Just be yourself. Pretend I'm one of the guys. Uh -huh. I need you to act natural or I can't write the truth. And I don't want to be given any special treatment just because I'm a girl. Yeah, right. I can't get honest feedback that way, right? The important thing is to write an honest and accurate article. See, I told you she was cocky. Well, a little bit's okay, isn't it? She's babelicious. Sure about that? 
So who are some of the boxers that you like? You want to write about boxing, so you must know a lot about it, right? Yes, that's right. The best ones I can come up with off the top of my head are Hearns, Leonard, and Duran. Wow, she knows some of the greatest of all time. Okay, how about within the country? Unfortunately, I have no Japanese favorites. Oh, come on. You're not saying you're comparing us to Leonard and the others, are you? Those guys are all legendary boxers. You're not saying that. No, it's just that I've seen a lot of great fights in Vegas and Mexico. Really? I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but the Japanese boxing champs are not very competitive next to the rest of the world. You'll find fighters so superior in other countries that the Japanese don't even start to compare on the lowest level. Once you realize the situation, it's unrealistic to feel any enthusiasm for Japanese fighters. Oh, sure. Mexico and Las Vegas, that's cool! You didn't say why you brought her here. You said you could put up with her, didn't you? Besides, I didn't bring her. She followed me. <laughs> that's Takamura, the Japanese middleweight champ. <gasps> <laughs> Hey, Dollface! Huh? What is it? You don't mean to say that Mr. Takamura would be considered a four to six round class fighter in the rest of the world, do ya? Well, actually, no. The back muscle that determines the pivoting power of his combinations and the destructive power of his punches is incredibly strong and his balance is excellent. And I've also seen a couple of his matches. He's the exception. I believe he has the potential to be the best in the world, despite being Japanese. So you do have eyes, how very nice! She's sharp, she knows what she's talking about. <laughs> he really is the only Japanese middleweight who can fight competitively. But who's that next to him? Oh, that's Ippo Makanouchi! Wow, he really looks like a different person than the one who lost to Eiji Date. He's really gotten himself into incredible shape. Ugh. I just may have stumbled on a story. She was your type, wasn't she? She's a little too cocky for me, but don't you find it kind of shocking? What do you mean? Takamura! There was a woman in the gym and he's so focused on training that he didn't even notice she was here. Yeah, now that you mention it. I guess being a challenger for the world title is too distracting even for him. Well, I have to say that's an improvement. Huh? If possible, I'd like to see him run with it and step up to the challenge. If in the worst case scenario, the talks fall through, but he still manages to keep winning, the chance will still come his way. Yeah, that's true, it will. But you know, that wouldn't be good for us. We don't want it to fall through. We're already all pumped up about it. He'll definitely come home with it. To Kamigawa Jim. With a world championship belt. Wow, the world title, huh? That's amazing. He's so pumped up and determined, his training is beyond amazing. It's exciting. I guess the whole gym's buzzing with talk about it. Actually, no one there dares to speak the word world. Huh? Mr. Takamura himself has become completely silent and more intense. He's in such a state that I hesitate before trying to talk to him. I guess even a guy like that can feel the pressure. Yeah, I guess. But I've never seen him deal with anything this big. I've got a feeling he'll accomplish something really big. I hear the tickets are sold out! That's because the bear killer news hit the variety shows! A standing Revolta Stadium for a semi-final match! There's not a snowball's chance in hell we'd lose these fights! But those guys are really worked up too! They better do their best, cause once my match starts, the spectators will probably forget everything else! All they'll remember will be me and my superiority! We'll fight a match they'll remember too! Don't worry! We'll show them how hard we worked in camp and overshadow you in your main event, mister! Sorry, but not this time. With the overpowering light that I have on me, you'll probably be reduced to mere flickering shadows. This time, my entrance alone will rock the hall. It will be magnificent. My entrance will be more powerful than anything you've ever seen. He's definitely in a class all by himself. It's like his gruesomeness has increased. Yeah, you're right. It's really freaking me out. I know he's going to make it happen. There's no doubt in my mind he'll make it happen. Huh? 
Huh? Incredible! They're lined up for miles in front of the hall. They must be here to see Mr. Takamura box. He's always been a popular boxer with a large following. But there's so much more publicity for this match than usual. I wonder what he meant by something that would rock the hall. Huh? Oh, is that guy being attacked by that dog? Uh, uh, hey, I know you. You're Hachi. But if you're here, that means that... Hachi isn't just a dog. He's like family. What are you talking about? Please, sir, don't give me so much trouble. Mr. Nakoda! Huh? Uh, oh, Makanouchi! Oh, Mr. Makanouchi, do you know this gentleman? Now, I'm having a bit of a hard time with him. Oh, it's uh, nothing like that. He's just saying I'm not allowed to take Hachi inside with me. I'm sorry, sir, but regulations don't allow dogs inside. Hachi isn't just a dog, he's a member of my family. Huh? I'm sorry, Hachi. Wait here for a while, okay, boy? Hmm? Exactly what's in this bag? It's something Takamura asked me to deliver. Deliver this thing? Oh, yeah, something will happen. <laughs> That's the truth. Huh? <laughs> I'm sorry I forced you to tag along with me, Kumi. It's all right. I didn't have any other plans today. Oh, I'm so worried about him. I hope Masaru will win. Oh, don't worry. He'll be great. Let's cheer for him with everything we've got. Did you hear? Takamura has announced that the fight and his victory will be so devastating that it will rock the hall. He sounds really enthusiastic about it. impressive fight. Yeah, looks like we can expect a lot from Aoki as well. <laughs> it's an exchange of blows so fierce it could ignite. Neither fighter backs off. Kumi, <laughs> uh, I can't watch. Don't be like that, Tomiko. Aoki needs our support. No! I can't. Come on, you can do it. Just open your eyes. This isn't good. His opponent's much stronger. Just stay away from him. No, keep him close. Huh? Let him wear himself out. Show your guts. Intimidate him. He can't keep it up for long. Oh. Oh. Uh, I can't watch it. Pull yourself together. Huh? Oh. Look at that. That's it. Oh. 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 Yeah, it's Aoki's fight. He's really in control. They've thrown in the towel. Aoki wins by TKO. Yes! Huh? Yeah! He did it! He sure did. He did it. Aoki needed our support. What were you doing? I'm sorry. Well, ah! oh, that was sure amazing. Yes, it certainly was. That advice you gave him was right on the money. Huh? You really do have a good eye for boxing, Mr. Nakoda. Nah, I just finally let my mouth run away from me, that's all. It's been a long time since I've had this much excitement. This guy may be up in years, but he still knows what he's talking about. Although boxing's been scientifically interpreted, it ultimately comes down to the state of mind. May I take the seat beside you? Be my guest. I don't think anyone's sitting there. Well, your colleagues fought really excellent fights, Makanouchi. Ah, huh? well, uh, this is a fine-looking young lady. How's your chance, Ippo? Ask her out, huh? What's that? What are you saying, Mr. Nakoda? <laughs> hey, um, I'm sorry, but have we met before? Yes, I came to the gym for an interview the other day. You were concentrating on your training, so you didn't notice me. You see, I'm very interested in you, Ippo. Huh? Tomiko, I won! <laughs> Congratulations, Master! Hey, Congratulations to you too, Kimura. Did you come here for Ippo? Do you want me to go find him? That's all right. I came here to cheer for everybody else today anyway. What are you talking about? He'll be excited. Let's see. 
Oh. Is oh. he over here? <sighs> Would you like me to call him over? No, never mind. Wow, those guys really put on a great show. You know, Aoki and Kimura claimed they would steal the spotlight from Mr. Takamura's main event fight. And they just might do it after all. We'll see about that. Huh? huh? Come to think of it, we did deliver that big bag to his dressing room. What was inside it? Oh, you'll see. All I can say is it's going to be a surprise. Oh. <laughs> now the challenger is ready and waiting, fully prepared in the blue corner. The throng of spectators is pressing forward, waiting to see the fists of the champion said to have brought down a bear. The one and only Takamura! It's a lie. It's impossible to kill a bear with your bare hands. Yeah. And here comes the champion! Let me out! Everyone, it's not a bear, it's Takamura! Stay in your seats and settle down! It's getting into the ring! You're kidding me! It's Takamura! He's in the bear! I doubt anyone's gonna even remember our matches after this. A bear? Well, now, that's something you don't see every day. All right, now the party's going. So that's what was in the bag. Is this guy making fun of me? This feels kind of bogus. I bet he didn't even really kill a bear! I respected you until now. So what the hell are you trying to do? Psych me out in a title match? When that bell rings, you're going down. Huh? Oh, yikes! What's with that scar? It's from a bear! It's a scar from a bear claw! Ignore it. It's just bull. Yeah, yeah, but coach, that thing is certainly causing an uproar. He sure does know how to work the crowd. What do you mean, work the crowd? I was totally against the idea. But he said you recommended it, so I was forced to go along with it. Huh? Well, he told me the whole thing was your idea. What? Yeah, well, that's what he said. All your talk is distracting me. The bell's gonna ring. Why, you... Cornerman out! Go on, old man, that means you. Cut it out! Let's see now. This is only the beginning. And there's the bell! Will Ito beat the most powerful champion in the country? Or will Takamura crush him with his bear-killing punch? And to think, he brought it down with his straight right. Is he gonna hunt him down in under a minute? The challenger makes the first move. He moves forward while throwing a left jab. The champion slightly retreats. It's the rhythm. I'll take the rhythm with my left and control the pace. He throws a pretty good left. Good. Keep him moving. A left from the champion, but the challenger is moving well. Both fighters seem to be favoring their left jab. It's an intense battle to control the pace of the fight. What? This isn't like him. Come on, Takamura, knock him out! Why are you just using your left hand? It's been an intense flurry of lefts, but what has happened to the champion today? The domination he normally exhibits is nowhere to be seen. Ito's left is preventing that. A left from the champion. Ah, he continues to land left accurately, pummeling away at the challenger. Takamura, throw out a right hook for right. You can't beat it with just your left. One, two, the champion calmly dodges them. Wow, he is really good. The big guy is surprisingly good at the basic stuff. Another left. What's going on? He's had several good chances to hit him with the right. <laughs> left! 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 The champion is using his left all the way! Chaps! They're transforming! <laughs> Into something close to straight! <laughs> huh? Why doesn't he use his right? <laughs> what are you doing? That was your chance! Come Jack on! Come on! Is the best story really alive? <laughs> you gotta use your right! Your left isn't good enough on its own! Wow, he did it, and he didn't even swing his right! He beat him with only his left! He really did defeat him using only his left hand. Wow! It could be true. It means he performed according to the proverb. 
the proverb? Those who rule the left will rule the world. Seven, eight, nine, <sighs> ten! He did it with only his left because... He wanted to appeal to the world! The challenger cannot stand up! He has been defeated by the left hand of Takamura! The champion has knocked out his opponent! Wow! He sure did it! He sure did! Awesome! Looks like I took care of him faster than you thought, old man. Oh, yeah? I went overboard with a bear pelt. I already know that. I'm ready to be lectured, so say what you like, you geezer. You think I deserve it? Go ahead! Shut up and get out of the ring already! Hurry up, all right? How can I lecture him? He just fought a perfect match, and he knows it. Takamura successfully defends his title for the fourth time. Japan is too small for this champion. Anyone who witnessed tonight's fight would have to agree. Good afternoon. Hey, Hello. Hey. Oh, you're all here. Yeah, well, we need to start training pretty soon. Have you guys recovered? Completely. More importantly, does anyone know if Mr. Shinoda's here yet? I want to do some mitt punching. Go on. Mr. Nekota's still here? He's been roaming the chief's office since the other night. For five days? Let's box. Please consider your age, Mr. Nekota. You could get seriously hurt. No, I can handle a little mitt punching. Don't worry, Gen's doing it also. The chief does it every day. It's all right, I can take it. Go on ahead, kid. A few punches should satisfy the old guy. Oh, all right. Okay, all done. Not good enough for training. Come at me and full on with everything you got. Come on, whack it. Uh, don't blame me if anything happens. Huh? <laughs> huh? Fine. Come on, give me a combo. Throw a harder right hook. Get guard. Sweet. Try again. Oh, what's this? He's not half bad. One more. Good. Now go rest. Right. Whoa. Yeah, huh? Amazing! Kimura actually got more tired than Mr. Nakoda! Ah, I'm not that great. The way you taught that combination was easy to understand. Can you teach me to hit, too? Well, <laughs> I'm a strict teacher. He's flawless, really. It's been over 30 years since he actually boxed, but that's Neko for you. It's perfect because we're short on trainers. Perhaps I should keep him around here for a little while longer. Well, I'm going out for road work now. Want to come with me, boy? Hey, Bo, hi there. Oh, Tomiko, Kumi. Is Masaru here? Oh, yeah, sure. He's just inside the gym. Thanks. See ya. Uh, Tomiko. You have something to say to Ippo, don't you? Huh? Tomiko, wait. Uh, you're busy. You're in the middle of training, aren't you? Yeah. But it's road work, and if maybe you're not too busy, you could come along with me on the bicycle if you want. What do you say? Huh? Yeah, I'll come. It's amazing. Huh? I mean, boxers, you know. They hold down other jobs while in the meantime they're still training very hard. Well, Mashiba's the same, isn't he? Haven't you ever seen him doing this? He always tells me not to come along. He won't even tell me the dates of his matches. I look in the fight magazines and get my own tickets for them. Wow. I can always tell when there's a match coming up because he gets so irritated. It's incredible. He flips over the table and everything. The table? <laughs> wow. Your brother sounds intense before a fight. Huh? Oh, yeah. Did you really come to Mr. Takamura's match? Uh, yeah. You should have said something to me. We could have sat and watched it together. That's true. Uh, Kumi, is something wrong? You're such a popular boxer. It's hard to get your attention. What are you talking about? When I'm in the spectator stands, nobody ever recognizes me. Aren't you really popular with the girls? I'm not really. I've been asked for my autograph before, but only by other guys. Is that true? <gasps> yeah. Uh, if I ask, would you sign an autograph for me? 
Well, what are you saying? An autograph is just me writing my name on a piece of paper. Oh, yeah, I know. So you've promised now. Uh, right? Great. That means I'm the first girl to get his autograph. <laughs> He trains hard like this day in and day out, and suffers for his effort, and the pay isn't that good. Why does he love boxing so much? There's still so much I don't understand. Yeah? Ipo, tell me why you started boxing. I mean, how did it happen? Huh? I mean, there are other kinds of sports, and you're an incredible athlete. I was wondering why you chose boxing. Why I started boxing? Wow, that's a long story. Uh, my... It's all right. <sighs> it's because you like it, right? I realized I asked a question that didn't need answering. I'm gonna go buy a magic marker and a sketch pad. Go ahead without me. Hey guys, I'm back! Hi, good afternoon. Oh, Miss Amura, what a surprise. What brings you here? I told you that I have an interest in you, remember? Actually, I'm here to ask you a couple of questions, if that's all right. So, which of your bouts has left the greatest impression on you? The greatest impression? I'd have to say, the fight against Date. What? Is that strange or something? What's wrong with that? It's just not what I thought you would say. I thought he'd choose a fight he won. Well, I guess it's like him to say that. All right, this is the big question. Why did you start boxing? What? Again? What was that? Oh, no, I was just asked the same thing a minute ago. Hmm, well, I guess if you've been interviewed about it a number of times, there's no need to ask. It wasn't really an interview. Hachi, I'm back! <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Hey, that woman! Oh, I almost forgot. Would you mind autographing this page for me, please? Huh? Since you could become famous, and the way you're going, you probably will. Your autograph could be worth a lot of money. Well, it's honestly nothing that impressive, really. That's it, Ipo. Please, turn her down! Don't be that way. It's easy. Just scribble it down. Come on. Really? Are you sure? But you promised me! Be a man and turn her down! Actually, I'd rather not. Yeah! Way to go, Ipo! There's no need to be embarrassed. Hey, don't you think you're being a little pushy? Yeah, but I actually do feel embarrassed to write it down. Turn her down! Don't do it! No! I'm not used to this sort of thing. Don't! Don't! <laughs> this is the best I can do. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll be back for more. Well, thank you! <laughs> See you later. Whew. Oh, man. Hmm? What is it, boy? What? What's this? Left! Bring it back and strike again quick. It's a double left. The textbook one, two is fine, but this is different. If you can land it on your opponent, it'll score and it'll hurt him. Can we see it? You deliver the second shot to the body or the head. Mr. Nakoda sure is a hit, isn't he? Wow, he's really very good. He sure got a lot of knowledge and a lot of experience in the ring. I don't have time to train anyone else when I'm working with the kids, so I find him to be an enormous help. Next, you throw a right, like this. Put your back into it. That's right. Come on, you slow pokes. Can't you keep up with an old man? Looks like he's getting himself a lot of students. I didn't know that many guys could even fit in our gym. You probably feel rejected having everyone else latch onto him like that, huh? No, actually, I don't. Apparently, Mr. Nakoda holds review meetings every day after practice. I hear it helps him make a lot of improvement. Really? A review meeting? That's a hell of a good idea. Hmm? Uh, nothing. Hmm? Uh -huh. Strange. These trainees have been acting standoffish towards me lately. <laughs> huh? yeah. What the? Hey, 
Hey, want to work with a mitt? Sir, why don't we work on mitt punching? Great. Now line up and wait your turn. Yeah. 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 Whoa, it feels like I'm gradually losing my place in my own gym. Why is that? These guys don't want to work with me anymore? Come to think of it, I was kind of Spartan with them at times. I am kind of detached. Maybe I should have talked to my boxers more. Huh? Huh. Oh, they're having the review meeting. Well, maybe it'll help me in revising my own methods. They sound like they're having fun. Gen would always get stuck on women so quick. Oh, he acts really big now, but when he was young, he was really out of control. Every time he was rejected, he'd force me to go and get drunk with him. Not our chief, no way. Yeah, that's a real shock. I wish you could have been there to see Gen crying with his nose running. Yeah. I'm not done yet. I should have known. You know, you've always been like that to me. You end up using me in order to get everybody else around to like you. Yeah, I intended it to be a review, but my tongue slipped slightly. What do you mean, slightly? You showed no restraint. I'd like to ship you special delivery to a remote mountaintop. I was just jealous. Jealous? What? You're jealous? I'm jealous of you, always surrounded by young folk, living life to the fullest, this wonderful gym. I was jealous compared to you, I'm... I'm just living all alone in the mountains like a hermit, with nothing to show for it. Huh? Please forgive me. No, I should apologize to you. You can stay here, Neko, if that's what you really want to do. Really? Special delivery! What? I was just joking, really! Who called and asked for a special delivery? Me! What? <laughs> the special delivery guy I know is headed up the mountain, so I'm hitching a ride with him. You have to leave? Can't you stay? You don't have to go home so soon, do you? Nah. I have a reservation for a group of college girls, so I gotta get back to the hills! What? Uh, what do you mean, wasted away on your own? Next time we meet, we'll settle up for all these years! <laughs> That's fine by me. You win that bout, Makanoji. Thank you, sir. You know I'm gonna give it my all. Take care. So long. See you soon. Goodbye. Summer is gone, and now the autumn is here. 